to make a sushi rice, uh, after we cook the rice, we put on the vinegar, the uh, 360 uh, milliliter of uh, uh, rice vinegar, and sake, uh, 45 milliliter, and sugar, uh, 250 grams, and salt, uh, 80 grams, and a piece of kombu. And uh, please mix up together and boil it at once and make it cold. cold. So you make folding motions rather than stabbing or so that you don't crush the rice grains? Yes, to keep a beautiful uh, shape of rice. Today uh, we are going to prepare two kinds of rolls. One is uh, with cucumber and one is uh, with tuna. So after you open the uh, nori, uh, pre preparing uh, to cut the cucumber and the uh, tuna. To cut the end and... If you all take a look at the screen, chef is showing how to cut the cucumber. You take off the ends and then you cut it into quarters lengthwise. Then you take out the seeds and then you cut the uh, length in half again. Okay, um. And now the tuna. So you simply slice the tuna into long strips about the same dimensions as the cucumber. Uh, put on the makisu on the cutting board and put the seaweed, whole seaweed. Put the glossy side down. At first, uh, make a uh, rice ball. So shape the rice into a ball in your hand. If you look at the screen, uh, you can see how to orient the rice ball on the seaweed. Sorry, there's a, oh, okay, yes, here we go. Yes. And then you slowly press out the rice. So the rice should cover about two thirds of the seaweed and there should be a margin of bare seaweed at the top. Take a piece of tuna and place them alongside, and there should be a one centimeter margin of rice between the edge and the, tuna, and the piece of tuna. In Japan, uh, most of the case, we put uh, some wasabi uh, into the sushi, but uh, if now people, uh, some people don't like to eat wasabi, so in this case, I don't use it. Okay. Not completely. Okay, so About one centimeter you left. So flip the rice over the tuna, and then there's a, you should still see a little bit of rice. Then uh, we roll. Then use the mat to assist you to rotate it another quarter turn and then squeeze the mat to help and you push. shape the roll into a tight, neat no, 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 maki. No, yes. Make a circle. Yeah. Yes. Okay. If you look on screen, and you can see it happening. Ah. Yeah, that's it. So chef is rolling it a little bit at okay. a time and squeezing it, squeezing the mat yes. with his hands to keep the roll and tight. No. If you look on screen, chef will now uh, demonstrate the cucumber roll. No, no, it's okay. Using, using just a little bit. I'll let this part. Spread it out. Okay. Just a little bit. That was great. So when you when you spread out the rice, you're, you're making little pushing motions, almost like it's clay. Okay, use. At first, please look. The sushi rice, another sushi rice. Uh, we are using uh, kampyo. Uh, kampyo and uh, mushroom. Shiitake mushroom. Uh, shiitake, kampyo into the rice. Not, not press, just mix. Yeah. So fold the kampio and the shiitake mushroom into the rice. Don't crush the rice, but gently mix it in. Okay. And uh, please cut unagi, very small, uh, small piece. So the chef has cut the unagi into p uh, pieces about the size of a large thumbnail, and then the shrimp into small chunks as well. Rice. On a plate. If you have a look at the screen, chef is now arranging the uh, egg threads on top of the mound of rice. And then he's putting the unagi on top of that, along with the shrimp. And beans. You can note that chef is using a very sharp knife and he's wiping it on a damp cloth in between cuts so that the knife does not stick to the sushi rice. All right. And center, yes. Yeah. 